attended a women's money conference. I had high expectations for hearing about savings, investing, and financial security geared towards women since that's kind of what it was marketed as. Instead, I was highly disappointed by six hours of couponing websites and ideas like renting out your car and your home for extra money. <laughs>
And then once your spending is under control, you can start to incorporate your financial goals into your budget. Maybe that means paying off debt or uh, saving for a down payment on a vacation home or, or a, a regular home. Whatever it is, think about those goals and then incorporate them into your budget. And treat these goals, these savings for these goals, as a fixed expense, as something that you have to pay each month. But again, you reevaluate over time because your goals still do change. Finally, how does budgeting work in real life? It sounds so easy just to track your expenses and then set some limits on what you want to spend, but in reality, nothing happens that smoothly. People tend to get discouraged because they set up their goals and they set up their limits and then they completely blow their budgets. If, then they, they decide that budgeting is too hard and they simply give up altogether. If you take nothing else from this conversation though, I would like you to hear me when I say budgeting is usually meant to be blown in your first time around. Everybody blows it. That's just part of budgeting. We set these unrealistic limits for ourselves that take into the account the best case scenario and we forget about all those other things like car repairs and vet bills and all those little extras. That's just part of budgeting. Your budget is meant to evolve over time because your income and especially your expenses will evolve over time as well. Give yourself the grace to know that your budget is meant to be blown and that it'll be tweaked over time and you'll get better at it. I wish that the women at the conference had learned about how empowering a budget could be. They should have been taught what a budget really is and how to apply it to their own lives. They may not have learned what they should have, but today I hope that you'll walk away with a better understanding and appreciation for budgets.